You attack my family. It's going to be the last thing you ever do. John had a rough childhood for a Dutton, and a lot of the Duttons had very rough childhoods. So I'm wondering if you can talk to me a little bit about what we've seen of him and what he's gone through in 1883 and what we, we know in the beginning of the premiere happened to him afterwards. How does that play into how he is as, a, as an adult and as a dad? We've talked a lot about this, and, 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 and I think at this point I'm getting a little emotional because um, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I think we... We all carry a lot of baggage in our lives, and uh, I think we all can relate to uh, a rough upbringing and uh, overcoming some challenges. So part of our job is to personalize things as much as we possibly can. You, you try to relate in that way and, and, and bring that to work. And, and uh, it's kind of a gift because we get to work through some of our own stuff. And, uh, you know, so uh, uh, it's just it's just really cool to come to work. and get to work with Marley and she looks at me <laughs> and then she'll be on the same page with me as the cameras start rolling. Oh my goodness. Do you think it, I mean, obviously we see Jack. Jack seems like a pretty happy-go-lucky, for lack of a better word, guy. I, I mean, that can't... Okay, his parents, I think... Right. I think Jack, yeah, I think Jack is reacting probably a little bit to our stoicism, which is necessary. It's integral, like otherwise the ranch won't survive, we won't survive. But I think Jack has kind of reacted to that. Like he's grown up with these parents that are so dutiful and committed and loyal and committed to the Dutton way and the way of the ranch. And I think that he's kind of wants to poke the tires a little bit and mm -hmm. you know, he's the wild card. 